Hey there, House here. I wanted to take some time today to talk about the NFL and their own response to their COVID outbreak. For those that have not heard, the Tennessee Titans have had 18 players personnel test positive for COVID-19. There were also two positive tests for the Patriots, one being Cam Newton, the other one being their cornerback, Stephon Gilmore. The Chiefs had one positive test in Jordan Tamu, who is a quarterback on their practice squad, as well as the LA Raiders had one positive test. So far, they've had to postpone one game and have another game be moved to the following day. So what are our next steps? What happens when a team that is forced to cancel a game when they've already had their bye week and they can't use that as a loophole and just schedule to make it work? Something to keep a lookout for is the possibility of not all teams playing a full 16-game season. Depends on, obviously, the scheduling, what they can make work. Something that I think they could tinker with is if a team has to postpone their game and they've already utilized their bye week, the NFL will have to look at the schedules and see if there's a way to, assuming that the rest of the team and personnel have no new positive tests and they're good to play uh, good to play the next game, then they would have to push it a couple of days, maybe playing it on Monday like they did with the Chiefs and Patriots game, or pushing it to even playing on a Tuesday or a Wednesday at the latest. That way you would give them Thursday off. Friday and Saturday could be a practice. Sunday could be a walkthrough, and then you'd reschedule them for a Monday night game. So they have some time in between their games. Not as much as what's normal, but it would be like, playing on a Sunday and then playing the Thursday night the following week. It would be that same kind of reset. It wouldn't be it wouldn't be enjoyable by the teams that are involved in it, but it's something that the NFL will have to look into as a possibility with more of these positive tests coming through. So it appears like my prediction making has fallen into a bit of a pattern. The first two weeks I predicted 11 games correctly. The next two weeks I predicted 10 games correctly. So here's hoping I don't continue that gradual slide and only get nine games correct this week. But we'll have to see what happens. With two teams on a bye week, that leaves us with one less game to choose from. Last week, I went 10-5, and five, which brings the win percentage to 66.67. Uh, my total for the season is 42-20-1, which again brings my win percentage to 66.67%. And on to my week five predictions. Our first game, which is the Thursday night tonight, we have the Bucks against the Bears. I'm taking the Bucks in this one. Panthers against the Falcons. I like the Panthers. And I also like the fact that Julio Jones looks like he re-aggravated his hamstring, so the Falcons aren't going to have that big weapon out there, most likely. Bills versus Titans. If this game goes off, which I hope it does, because I think it'll be very entertaining to watch. But we'll have to see how the NFL wants to monitor Tennessee see if they have anybody else test positive for COVID. And if not, and it's been a few days, then they can make the decision if they want to play this game on Sunday or not. Like I said, I hope it happens, but we'll see. Either way, don't know if I said at the beginning of that rant, I'm picking the Bills. Next game, we have the Bengals versus the Ravens. I'm taking the Ravens. Raiders versus the Chiefs. I'm taking the Chiefs in this one. Rams versus Washington. I'm taking the Rams in this one. Even though Washington has decided to go to Kyle Allen as their starting quarterback and Alex Smith be the backup, with them now deciding to bench Dwayne Haskins. Maybe that'll give them a little bit of an upstart on that offense, but I don't know. Kyle Allen didn't perform all that well last year when he was a starting quarterback in Carolina, and he had McCaffrey to throw to. So we'll just have to see how that plays out. Cardinals versus the Jets. I'm taking the Cardinals, especially since the Jets are forced to start Joe Flacco in place of Sam Darnold due to injury. So that's, I believe that one's just going to get ugly quick. Eagles versus the Steelers. And the Steelers. Jaguars versus Texans. I think the Texans are going to get their first win of the season, not mainly due to the fact that they fired their head coach slash GM, uh, but I I don't see that hurting their chances. So I'm taking the Texans. Dolphins versus 49ers. I'm going to take the 49ers here. Colts versus Browns. I'm taking the Browns in this one. I like the way their offense is stacked up right now, especially even though they're losing Chubb. They get Kareem Hunt, who was an all-star in his rookie season with the Chiefs, and he's shown that he is capable of doing that with the Browns. So I believe with additional touches, he's going to have a solid day. Giants versus Cowboys. I'm taking the Cowboys. Broncos versus Patriots. Taking the Patriots. Even if it's going to be Stidham, I think that the Patriots defense is still talented enough that they'll be able, they'll be too much uh, for the Broncos. Vikings versus Seahawks, taking the Seahawks, and Chargers versus Saints. I'm taking the Saints in a tight one here. 
I, that's another one. It should be a pretty solid Monday nighter. The way that Herbert's been playing for the Chargers and the Saints offense hasn't been rolling like we would have expected them to, I think it should be a close contest. But we'll have to see what happens. Well, there you have it. As always, I hope to do better this week than I did last week. Be sure to check out my progress for week five and continue to watch my next video to see just how well or poor I did. And remember, you win some and you'll lose some. But the house always wins.